Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to introduce you to a product that has turned out to be one of the biggest pieces of crap that I have ever, ever used. but you're probably surprised at the attitude coming out of my mouth, but I've told you before that I can have quite a bit of, of, of bad attitude sometimes. I just try not to. But, you know, this morning I un uploaded a video about working a lot and dealing with school, which I enjoy, by the way. And today I was just going to stay at home and take care of home. I worked on laundry and cleaned the kitchen and made a homemade cake to take to church and was gonna do some work outside. Also, I was gonna clean this rug here that is filthy. So, I got a power washer as a Christmas gift this past Christmas. Of course, I haven't opened it yet because it hasn't been the kind of weather that I needed to be power washing in. Today, I thought this is a grand opportunity. It is beautiful in Tennessee right now. I don't know how warm it is, maybe 80s, but it was like 75 this morning, breeze. It was the most perfect day for outside work. So I took advantage of that. I did some more work in my landscaping and just enjoy being out there until it was time to use my brand new power washer. Okay, it's electric, so I have me a, an extension cord. Chisholm helped me. We put this sucker together. It was not hard to put together. This is it. Work choice, 1500 PSI electric pressure washer. Looked like it would be really great for me to use. Really easy to handle, small, lightweight. Um, apparently it's pretty powerful to be such a little guy. So, you know, great gift for me, right? Right? No. I told you before it was a beautiful day, so all the motorcyclists are out with their loudness and their radios. Haha, <laughs> they saw me videoing them. <laughs> we started using this little guy. Got him all plugged up. Got the water attached. I'm going to give you a shot of this pretty landscaping while I talk. And... Went to turn it on, nothing happened. So. I went and got the manual. And read all the little troubleshooter suggestions. Each suggestion was common sense. We did them check the fuse, check the socket. Um, everything worked. Anything else plugged into that socket turned on and worked beautifully. I mean, this will not even turn on. There will not e there's not even any power going to it. Everything else plugged into that socket is perfect. So it's not the socket. None of the other power shooter, troubleshooter options worked for us because when it won't even turn on, then what's the point of using it? So, I got on the website and read the reviews, which is probably what should have been done before it was purchased for me, but whatever. Look at it over there, looking all cute and unassuming. I hate you. Every review. Every review, I had to come inside because people were watching me recording, I'm embarrassed. Every review was bad. Come on, Marley. Every review had one star. Okay, there were two that had five, and these people had only used it twice. Everybody else said that they used it three or four times, and then it either would not turn back on, or the hose would bust because it's cheap. Well, mine won't even turn on. No power is going to it. Daddy said that it's a defective power washer because everything 
on our end works fine. So even though I told you that I wouldn't be coming back to you until the end of the week with the classroom tour, here I am giving you a product review of this blasted, worthless power washer. Don't ever buy it. One of the reviews said, do not buy this, do not buy this, do not buy this. So guess what? I wish it had been purchased for me. No, it wasn't my money because it was a Christmas gift, but nonetheless, I thought I had a power washer and now I don't. A power washer is not in my budget. My rug is gonna continue to be dirty and I guess my house will too until I can afford to purchase one on my own. So in summary, in conclusion, do not buy the Work Choice 1500 PSI Electric Presser Washer. The end.